Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a terrain in Gaia like this one, then export it and import into Unreal Engine 5 like this one. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content and that helps me a lot. So let's start doing this landscape. Gaia is a software where you can make landscapes using procedural nodes. So when you open Gaia, this is what we got. We have here the templates to select from. We have landscapes, mountain, water, snow, hill, a lot of them to select. If you left click on this icon next to the template, you can select another template within the same type. So for landscapes, we have a lot of them here. You can hover the mouse to see the preview of this template to see what we got. So for this one, I'm actually going to start with a blank template, just a blank one. So here in the viewport, if you select it, as you can see, if I left click on this, you can see the, these orange borders here, that means that this is selected. If you select this and click the middle mouse button, you can pan around the camera. If you hold Alt, then left click and drag, you can rotate the camera. And with the scroll, you can zoom in and out in this view here. Down here we have the graph, this is where we're gonna put all the nodes that we need to create the landscapes and these nodes we can find here in the left. So here is all of them, all the nodes that you can use in different categories like primitives, geoprimitives, warps, adjustments, profile, filters, erosion, we have all here. In this right side we have the properties, so when you select a node here in the graph, the properties of, the, of that node will show up and you can change them. So up here we have the preview resolution, um, so you have 1K, 2K, 4K, now is in the 0.5K but I will change this to 1K because I'm using the free version of the software and this version only lets you export textures up to 1K. If you want to export 2K or 4K, you need the paid version, but I'm using the free one here and it's fine. So let's start creating the landscape. So for this one, I'm actually going to start with a purling. You can choose here and drag to the graph like this and the terrain will already update. And, or you can right click on the graph and start typing the name of the node, like purling. And there you go. We have the, the node here. So as you can see, if you, if you select this, you can see the properties here and change them. For this one, I'm gonna put the purling scale to 6.5. I think it's good. And that's all that we're gonna do with this node. So actually, I'm gonna add another node to this. So let's, let's right click and type rocky. Let's type this. And as you can see, if I select a node here, the preview of that node will show up here in the terrain. So if I select Perling, we are seeing the Perling version. If you select the Rocky, we are seeing the Rocky. But I want to actually put these two together. So for this, we can use a combined node. Let's add a combined node. Put this in the first one, then the rock in the second one. Then if you, se if you select the combined node, you can see the these two nodes are combined into one. As you can see, the rocky will have these shapes here, the purling will have this one, and then in the combined we have a blend of both. In the combined node, here in the method, you can change from blend to add, multiply, or other things here, but I'm gonna leave this in 
blend with a ratio of 65. If you put this more to the left, will be more to the first one that you put here. If you put the ratio more to the to the right side, you have more of the the second node here. So for this one, I'm gonna put 65 here. Okay. Now I want to add a mountain here in somewhere in the middle. So for that, we already have a node. Let's type mountain. There you go. We have a mountain here. So if you select this in the properties, you can change the scale of this. Let's bump up so you can see. There you go. We have a more pronounced mountain. If you put this less, you have a more soft one. Let's put these mountains in 22. There you go. We have, of course, the height of this mountain. If you want a more small mountain, you can just put the height a little bit down, as you can see. But for this, I'm going to put 100. And you can change the seed to make different mountains. If you change this just a little bit, you can see that we have a different mountain. So you can play around with this. Actually, I'm going to use this and put a little bit down the height. A little bit more. Let's put like this. Let me select a different one. Let's bump a little bit the height. There you go. I'm gonna stay with this one. Now I want to add this mountain into these results here. So let's add another combined node. Add these two together. And this time I want to add the mountain into this terrain. So in the combine here, in the method, I'm gonna change from blend to add. So we have the mountain here. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a fractal to raise node. Mulch nope, a fractal. Fractal to raise node. Just put the, the results here into the input of the fractal. And as you can see, this node add this these edges here into the terrain, as you can see. If you go to the details of the fractal terrace, you can change the spacing here. You can put a space bigger, but I want to leave this as 10. You can bump the intensity to make it more pronounced, as you can see, more sharp in the edge. But I want to put 80 here, actually. There you go. I think it's a nice. And finally, I want to add an erosion here. So let's right click and type erosion. Let's put these results into the input here. There you go. As you can see, we have some erosion in the terrain. And for this one, I'm going to bump up the, du the duration of this erosion to 10. Let's put 10. Then you have to apply the changes. If you make some changes here in the erosion node, you have to apply changes down here. There you go. Now we have a landscape, a basic one. Keep in mind that the software, you can do a pretty complex landscapes. But for now, I think that's all we need. So let me show you how you can export this as a height map to use in Unreal Engine. So first you need to tell Gaia what node to export. So for this, I'm going to pick the last one of this chain. And then you can right click here and set this a mark for export. You can select and press F3 on the keyboard. So this little ye yellow dot will appear, indicating that this node is marked for export. Now we can go here into the build, here in the 
to the close to the properties you can you have build and here you have the settings for the build so i'm gonna change this name erosion to landscape and here in these three little uh, little lines here i'm gonna choose png 16 bit then this message will show up just hit yes here and in, as you can see, in this node, we have an output, we have a weir output, we have a deposit output, and a flow output. You can select what maps to export in here. If you mark all, all this will gonna be exported. And if you can select just one, if you hit output, you can deselect everything and then select the output, and then we you will be exporting the main map for this landscape but for now i'm gonna export everything here if i want to use later so i'm just gonna export it here in the definition in the method i'm gonna leave as normal build the resolution i'm gonna change because as i said before i'm using the free version of the software that only only lets you export up to 1k so let's pick 1k but i'm not gonna pick the standard 1k because we ha already have a property for unreal here unreal has a different resolutions so i'm gonna use the unreal 10 9 resolution here which is 1k let's select this one the color space i'm gonna leave as srgb then the range i'm gonna change from proportional to normalized and that's all we need to do now we can just go here in the build destination and change so you just select a folder where you're gonna export the maps just selected now to start building you need to save the project so let's save this just hit save here then choose a destination i'm gonna change this to I don't know maybe tutorial landscape then save now we can start the build so just hit start build so here in the cache I'm just gonna hit no and the build will start depending on how complex is your terrain this may take some time because it will build every node but there you go we are done we have here the landscape this is the main map that we're gonna use but we have the deposit map too the flow map and the weir map now we just need to use this map mainly in unreal to create the landscape so let's do that so here in unreal i have here a third person template just a blank third person template with nothing special here now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the third person folder then maps and create a new level here i'm gonna call this landscape let's open this map save this one there you go we have a blank level here let's add some lighting so for this i'm gonna go here into the environment light mixer if you don't see this tab here just go to the window and then environment light mixer and open this one here we're gonna create a skylight create atmospheric light create sky atmosphere create volumetric fog and create a high fog there you go this will put these lights and effects into the scene and then we have here all that we need now let's create the landscape to do that we're gonna go here in the selection mode here we have selection all the modes here we are in the selection let's change this to landscape now we are ready to import landscape let me zoom out here a little bit so this green green grid here is where the landscape will be so you have the option to create a new one from scratch here and then scoop the landscape but we we're gonna import from a file so just select import from file here 
then you can choose a height map file just click in these three dots and select where you put your files so we have the landscape here that one that we exported from Gaia just select this one and hit open there you go we have some changes here but this is a little bit wrong let me show you if I import this now let me place this landscape a little bit up here so you can see this is not the same one that we created here in Gaia as you can see it's different why is that so let delete let's delete this one and let me show you why it's wrong so Unreal use different units than Gaia so here in the in the scale here we need to calculate the right scale for this one so how are we gonna do that first let's go to Gaia and see how big is this terrain so if you go here into the build tab then terrain definition you can see the height of the terrain and the scale so the scale is what we are interested in it's 5000 so let's use 5000 here in Unreal so to calculate this we need to pick this 100 pay attention in this is really important so you need to pick this 100 then you need to divide this by the resolution of this map in this case is 1009 so let's divide by 1009 then we need to multiply by the scale in Gaia that we find out that is 5 thousand if you do that this will be applied to the y2 so x and y you're gonna do this in the z you can leave as 100 there you go we have this map now in the grid it seems wrong but it's actually right so if you import this now we have the right terrain let me go to the selector here and then put this terrain a little bit up here so it's outside the fog there you go we have the terrain and the same one that we have in Gaia here as you can see we have these erosion erosion shapes here we already have these two in Gaia in Gaia no in Unreal actually so there you go we created the terrain if I hit play here you can see that this terrain is actually really huge it's really huge this terrain it will take too long for me to get in this mountain let me hit F8 here to show you it's really big and of course this is a landscape in Unreal so if you select it then go to landscapes here you can use the normal tools here like scoped so let me increase a little bit the brushes here you can scoop on this terrain and make some additional changes to this terrain there you go this is how you can import a landscape in Unreal from Gaia so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content as always keep learning keep creative and i'll see you later